tennis elbow. We've all had it before, that annoying little pain right here when you're pouring your morning coffee, grabbing a plate out of the cupboard, or opening up a doorknob. Let's talk about top five exercises to get rid of tennis elbow and make sure you start the path to optimizing your elbow. So the most important thing to first understand is a little bit about the anatomy of the elbow. So all the muscles that do wrist extension and finger extension all come together and meet at a common insertion point right here on the outside of your elbow. When you get inflammation and irritation of that common tendon, that's essentially what creates tennis elbow and gives you that achy, sharp pain in that area. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna wanna do is try and unglue some of those sticky tissues around that part of the elbow. So you're gonna grab yourself a lacrosse ball. I have a double lacrosse ball or a peanut. You can also use a single if that's all you have. It works just as well. You're gonna get the ball down on a firm surface. Turn your arm palm up facing the ceiling and get that arm right down on top of that ball. You can apply a little bit of extra pressure if you want with your opposite hand, and you're trying to roll through, grind through some of that tight tissue. You'll know when you're in the right spot because it'll be pretty sore, and work through that to try and loosen it up. You can also do some flexion and extension of the wrist to sort of tack and floss some of that tissue and really get that loosened up. Uh, that's the first step towards getting this back under control. Once we've unglued that sticky tissue, we're gonna wanna start to lengthen the tendon and lengthen the muscle. So you're gonna do a simple stretch here. You're gonna take your arm out in front of you, bend your wrist down like so. In order to get the full effect of the stretch, remember these tendons cross your wrist and go right to your fingertips. So we need to actually bend our fingers in to kind of make a, a comfortable fist. And you're gonna pull on that fist kind of in this direction to really try and lengthen those tendons across the forearm to prevent that pull from happening right at the attachment site right here on the elbow. You're gonna hold that for about 30 to 45 seconds, do it three or four times really to loosen that tissue up, and then we can start some strengthening. So the first step we need to focus on is loading the tendon eccentrically. Eccentrically means essentially performing a negative movement. So what you're gonna do is grab a dumbbell, light dumbbell, two pounds, three pounds, four pounds, five pounds, somewhere in that range, grab your dumbbell, you're gonna take your non-injured side, you're gonna lift your wrist all the way up into maximum extension, and from here, you're gonna slowly control that lowering all the way back down. You will feel that start to work right here at the tendon. So again, lift up, take your hand away, nice, slow, lower down to really get that pump right through the tendon, right at the elbow. Okay, so the next movement we're gonna talk about is called the Zotman Curl. It's still considered an eccentric loading of the tendon, but it's a little bit different. You can use this one in the gym, even as a preventative exercise. So you're gonna perform a standard bicep curl, grab yourself something a little heavier, 10, 15 pounds, um, palms up the whole time, curl up to your shoulders. From this position, you're gonna flip the hands over, palms now face the ground, slowly control that back down to your sides. Again, palms up, curl, twist, slowly control that. As you're lowering that weight down, that tendon's getting loaded throughout the full range. Moving on from those dumbbell exercises, we're gonna work on what we call supination, pronation. So palm up, palm down. You're gonna grab yourself a hammer or a mallet. In this case, the weight's on the end. That's the most important part. You're gonna slowly rotate this hammer downwards. This is gonna give you that tension through the forearm and then move it back through supination the other way, controlling that nice and slow as you go down. So you're gonna perform 20 to 30 reps of this at a nice slow pace. If that feels too light, you want a little bit of a progression there, grab yourself a putter out of your bag, a little more leverage here, a little weight on the end, same scenario, back and forth nice and slow. That'll help you start that road to strengthening to get rid of that pain right here in the elbow. And then you can get out on the green and knock down some putts. So moving into something a little bit more functional, we're just gonna talk about grip strength. So in this scenario, grab yourself a plate. This one's 25, it can be 15, it can be 10, whatever you have. You're gonna hold it in this grip, fingers bent, nice, easy grasp, and you're just gonna activate, stabilize this position. That's gonna isometrically strengthen that area without actually moving the muscle through range, moving the joint through range. You can hold it as a static hold or do a carry back and forth. Another nice thing to add would be a static Hang, so you can jump up, grab a pull-up bar from this position, work on holding yourself here, good solid core, but most importantly, that grip is gonna help isometrically strengthen the elbow. All right guys, so that's your top five exercises to get rid of that elbow pain when you're suffering from tennis elbow. So make sure you get after it now. Most people come in the clinic, they've had this for two, three months and they're just dealing with pain. So try these movements, it'll loosen things up, get your strength back so you can get back to regular life without any pain and move one step closer towards optimizing your elbow. Woo!